<laughs> Ivan, good to see you there in Washington. A huge victory for the Palestinians. But how will this affect their statehood bid? Well, I think that, uh, you know, the, gradually the Palestinians are pushing to get in more international organizations, uh, particularly in the UN. I think the difference between this vote and the one uh, their, their statehood bid is that, of course, uh, the U.S. can veto uh, in the Security Council that the, the latter one, whereas this vote... Uh, there's no veto, and uh, they, it was voted overwhelmingly that uh, people went against what the U.S. and Israel wanted and voted in the Palestine um, as a member. Uh, clearly, this was so I think a the two are political separate simply move. Because oh. The two are separate simply because of the, of the way the votes are taken and, the, and whether the United States can block it or not. Right. Well, um, this really uh, was a political move to get that UNESCO membership. But um, nevertheless, what would have been the practical advantages, or indeed what are the practical advantages uh, of being a member of UNESCO for the Palestinian people? Well, I think, uh, you know, uh, at the most basic level, uh, the UNESCO... Uh, uh, it's mostly well known for uh, pre pre preserving cultural sites, historical sites. And I think the Palestinians in that area uh, of the West Bank and Gaza feel that the Israelis are trying to, uh, you know, uh, get the, get the uh, uh, erase that culture. Also, you know, they, they uh, have programs for women, science, uh, that sort of thing. And I think uh, the Palestinians will benefit from those as well. And uh, so there's lots of lots of uh, programs. And it's indeed, kind of promote agency. promote promote further international recognition and understanding uh, as well. Yes, and I think uh, you mentioned the symbolic thing. I think that's actually the main thing here because uh, uh, certainly the programs are are important, but the symbolic uh, idea that uh, that. that all these nations wanted to let Palestine in over the objections of the U.S. and Israel is very significant, I think. And it, the, it, uh, the Palestinians have been uh, stymied in their efforts to have a state. And, of course, uh, they're trying a new route. They're trying uh, peaceful uh, protests, and they're trying this uh, method of trying to get into more and more uh, international organizations to build their legitimacy. And I think that's a better way to go than violence myself. What about the U.S.'s reaction? The violence, could, 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 has could, not, the violence hasn't uh, helped anybody. I mean, just quickly, the, the U.S. reaction to this, could it not backfire? I mean, uh, they've already announced that it's going to withdraw uh, funding, 22% of indeed, the funding that they provide to the UNESCO budget. I mean, here they are punishing people and their cultural and social projects around the world, in effect making these people sacrifice for the Palestinian cause, uh, uh, certainly at an economically tough time as well. I mean, what sort of image does that give the U.S.? Well, I think Obama administration actually likes UNESCO, unlike the Republicans who don't really care about UNESCO. But, and I think the, the U.S. ambassador to UNESCO has said that they'll try to find other ways to support the organization. So I don't think the Obama administration is happy to be having been put in this situation. But you're exactly right. That's what it does. It holds a lot of people uh, who are not involved in this around the world uh, hostage to this particular uh, D uh, dust up over the Palestinian membership in UNESCO. And I think, uh, you know, it does, it, it, this law is very rigid and it's kind of left over from, you know, from other places. So, uh, uh, another era. So anyway, it's, uh, it's very, um, uh, it doesn't look good for the U.S. because this is, they're in a rigid straitjacket. They can't do much about the law. They may try to help the organization in other, in other ways. Okay, uh, we'll leave it there. Thanks very much indeed. Ivan Eland of the Independent Institute Think Tank joining us live.